in this series of videos we will learn a few common problem solving and uh, computational thinking strategies uh, we will take uh, the first example we will solve uh, this uh, restaurant tables problem from uh, code wars i will pause the video take some time to uh, solve it on your own okay um, so one of the strategies that we can use is uh, to solve a problem manually so initially don't worry about the logic just pick a small version of the problem and uh, solve it on your own without worrying about how you will write a program to do the job for you what if you had no computer how did how will you solve the problem then so do that first and then you will you, you can use this knowledge to eventually uh, find the logic so let's go ahead and do that so now as soon as i saw this uh, uh, restaurant tables uh, problem i re i remembered hey it's kind of uh, similar to finding uh, a seat on the bus if you uh, try to book a seat using red bus or any other apps like these so we have bunch of seats some of them are vacant and uh, that was my initial idea and so then i drew like a small diagram so here we have uh, three uh, tables of uh, size 2 and uh, three tables of size 1 now assume that if you are a waiter and a bunch of people uh, enter your restaurant how will you uh, seat them okay so initially we have uh, uh, like a pers uh, a single person who enters the restaurant so we will uh, place them here so let's mark this as x saying that this seat is occupied then we see another person so according to the problem the first priority should be given to a vacant table of size 1 so we uh, place them here right so as humans it's like natural to just directly go and uh, uh, locate this empty seat right but just take a step back and uh, think how you actually uh, place the second person here so what we did is uh, we first we checked whether the first seat was available it was not that's why we placed the person in the second seat right so try to uh, decompose your own thinking try to actually find out what you are doing so our human eyes are great we can just scan A, b a, b a bunch of empty uh, seats and immediately find uh, one for us uh, but com as computers uh, can think only uh, one step at a time we have to uh, break down our own thinking as well and like dig deeper so that's what we did here so the first um, uh, seat was uh, not vacant so we placed the person in the second seat okay now another person enters once again you'll follow the same strategy the first seat is uh, not vacant the second seat is also not vacant so we place the third person in the third table now we uh, see uh, another person and according to the rules if uh, no table of size 1 is available then we have to place them in the uh, one of the tables uh, one of the vacant uh, tables of size 2 uh, so once again we'll follow the same approach we'll first we check here then we check here then we check here Uh, none of these tables are vacant and we finally place the person here so let's just mark a x over there now we see uh, someone uh, uh, who requires two tables or rather uh, two seats so for them uh, we know that we can't look into the uh, tables of size 1 so we have to look at uh, tables of size 2 the first table of size 2 is uh, not vacant so finally we place them here and uh, this is how the uh, logic now works right and uh, next we see someone of uh, uh, someone who requires uh, one uh, seat and according to the rules if a vacant table of uh, size 2 is available the first priority should be given to that seat and not the other seat so we place them uh, here and next we see someone um, who requires uh, two seats uh so first we check here then here then here none of these are vacant so we uh say that uh you know they are uh, they are denied so we like kind of want to maintain a count of the number of people who are denied so we'll just say okay two people are denied now then finally we find two other people uh, who require one seat each and we place them uh, here and here respectively finally the our our output is two okay now that we have done the process manually we have a better idea of what we want to do 
right so now we like we, are, we know much more about the problem than we did uh, like few minutes ago now that we have done this what we have to do is if you want to we can try like two or three more uh, examples just to uh, uh, get more information but in this case i think we do have like decent information we have identified a pattern or logic right so now uh, what we actually fundamentally did was we solved a search problem each time you are just searching for a vacant uh, seat and uh, as you know searching is like a very common uh, problem uh, in uh, programming so we kind of uh, know how to solve uh, the search problem all we have to do is iterate through a bunch of values and uh, check whether uh, we are able to find a suitable value so that's the search problem so we kind of know that okay we will be using some for loops and we will be uh, comparing values so that will be part of the core uh, program okay now finally we kind of have some uh, pattern uh, or logic so we have to translate this logic into code okay um now um one of the first things we have to do is uh, find uh, like a suitable way to uh, represent our uh, data so this part is called as uh, data representation in uh, computational thinking uh, so we have to find some way to uh, uh, you know organize all our data and store our data and as soon as we drew this picture it uh, kind of feels obvious that we need like an array we need an array of uh, ones and then we need another array to store uh, these two values so let's uh, take a concrete example like uh, this and uh, see how our uh, data will look like so what we'll do is uh, we have like a one array of ones and initially they're all like empty um, so what we can do is uh, we need to come up with a value to represent empty so let's uh, come up with true for uh, uh, an empty value so if uh, the if the value is true it means that the seat is uh, vacant so true implies vacant and uh, false implies the seat is uh, taken so this is our uh, encoding and data representation that uh, we have been doing and now for the twos uh, once again we'll have an array but every value in this array will also be an array so this tells whether uh, each individual seat is taken or not so initially none of the seats are taken so we have uh, true true and then true true so we have uh, three uh, tables of size two which are all uh, vacant so this is like the initial uh, state of the uh, program and now uh, each time a person enters the restaurant we uh, follow our uh, logic according to the rules given in the problem so this this kind of now we have like a better idea and uh, now what we can do is we can write the pseudo code and of course this is not the only way to solve the problem this is not the only way to represent our uh, data later we will see a better way to uh, represent our data but this is like very close to how uh, like as humans we would want to uh, solve this problem right and uh, for now let's just convert our thinking into code okay now uh, uh, you, you can see here that the problem statement was a little bit complicated there are like too many rules one of the things we have to do is uh, take down uh, i mean understand the problem and then come up with a very solid set of uh, rules ourselves which is like concise and still covers all the cases so let's uh, come up with uh, the rules so here are the rules so if Uh, one enters a restaurant first we check whether a uh, one vacant table is available if yes we will allocate them to that table else check whether a two vacant table is available if not we will then we'll check whether a two table is semi vacant and available that means if uh, you know only one of the seats are taken that is good as well if none of these conditions are satisfied then we will deny that customer and uh, if two people enter the restaurant the rule is very simple in this case is a table of size 2 vacant if it is great if not deny so this kind of captures everything in the problem right these set of uh, rules and uh, finally we are ready to write our uh, pseudo code so now uh, let's just uh, write it so we have this ones array and then we have a uh, two array 
and uh, what we have to do is uh, for uh, each uh, customer of customers let's say customers is also an array I usually like to uh, have uh, proper values uh, so that I can uh, think in uh, a specific case but finally write the solution for the uh, general case let me copy this okay so for each uh, customer what we have to do is check whether the customer requires one table or two tables if uh, customer is one then apply uh, these rules so if uh, size if a table of uh, vacant uh, let's call it vacant one table or other let's what we can do is we can now decompose the problem into smaller uh, sub problems this is another uh, strategy so if we kind of come across a logic that is too complex uh, then what we can do is uh, like create a helper function so let's assume that a helper function exists so find uh, vacant one table so we want uh, let's assume that this function exists if it exists uh, and then let's assign it to uh, I mean let's uh, let's assume that this returns a uh, index right so let's call it table equal to this and uh, if the first or rather if the zeroth table itself is vacant this will uh, return zero if not if the next one is available it will return one else it will return true two if none of the tables are vacant it will return uh, minus one so this is our function we have not written this function we'll just assume that it it exists okay okay now if table is valid right if table is not equal to uh, minus one that means we are able to find the table so now what we can do is we can take the ones array and then uh, now we have to mark it as taken so we say ones of table equal to false that means it's not vacant anymore if this table is uh, not vacant then or, or rather if none of the uh, tables of size one are vacant we have to find a table of uh, size two so similarly we will have like find uh, vacant uh, two state so we'll do that and uh, let's get a table once again we'll check whether this uh, uh, table uh, it exists or not and uh, continue writing the code so this is like the overall uh, strategy to solve this uh, problem